so the news has been really, um, I almost said crazy, don't want to use that word. The news lately, this week especially, has been a lot. Porn is apparently a public health problem for some reason, uh, but, but much more importantly, guns and people with guns are problematic and it's not a fun time. If you are a writer and or someone who goes to work every day to report on or pay very close attention to the news, it is very easy to become fatigued. I go to work every morning and I have to keep an eye on trends, especially health related trends. It's my job to, to look at these stories from different angles and create content based on what is happening. And when these things that are happening are sad or controversial or upsetting, you leave work after looking at these things all day long and you go home and whether you turn on the news on TV or you have a news app on your phone or you scroll through Twitter on your quote-unquote downtime, it never goes away. The news is always there right in your face and it's a lot and it's very tiring and you think, how do I get away from this? Can I even get away from this? How do I stop? feeling so fatigued and just sad. You have to be aware when you're writing about these things, but how do you deal? How do you continue to live your life, write all the things, do your job, but not go home and just continue feeling awful? I kind of have three tips that I hope can help anyone in this situation or just anyone in general who listens to people talk about the news a lot and then just doesn't want to have to deal with it all the time. First, it's important to create a news-only space in your life. So for me, that's work. I clock into work. It is time to be aware of the news. It is time to have Yahoo and Twitter feeds and things like that open and tabs in my computer. And it's time to pay attention and pitch the things I need to pitch and write the things I need to write about. When I'm done with work, when work is over for the day, it's very hard to do, but I'm getting better at it. I close out all those tabs and I either limit myself to a certain number of tabs that don't involve the news at all as much as possible, or I just completely walk away from my desk. If you have a news app on your phone or some kind of alert that tells you what the news is, I don't know if there's a way to like turn that off for a part of the day or maybe just unplug and not look at your phone for the rest of the night. And that leads into my next point, which is walk away. Even if you have to like tell a friend or a family member, you know, at dinner, can, can we not talk about this thing that's happening in the news? It's okay to kind of say like, I've been in this all day. I've been talking about this with coworkers all day. Um, I'd rather just talk about something a little lighter. Um, yes, it's important to talk about these things with the people you are close to, um, but they will understand, or at least hopefully will understand that, hey, this is my job. I'm in this all day. I kind of need a break. You know, maybe they can say, okay, well, let's talk about something else. Uh, not always easy to do, but the other night I was kind of like, hey guys, can we turn off the news? at least during dinner while I'm sitting here and, you know, just, we can talk about these things but I don't want to listen to news coverage anymore. We turned the TV off and it was, it was fine. It was a lot better. Um, you don't have to be in it all day, every day, especially in the evenings past um, the point where you're like, I don't want, I don't want to be in this anymore. It's not ignoring what's happening. You're just taking a break. That's okay. And the third tip that I have is remember that you are a writer. And there are two things that you can do with the fact that you are a writer. You can either, in your own time, in your own creative space, write about these things in a way that helps you deal with it yourself. For example, you might write, you know, just a short story about some of the things that are happening. It doesn't have to be about real people 
or real places, but if you need to take these themes and kind of construct them in a way that helps you grieve and helps you process, but isn't, these are the facts, this is what happened, this is what we need to do to deal with it format, then if that helps you, you can do that. You can also use writing as your way of um, escaping for a little while. Again, taking a break, not ignoring things forever, just for now. And you can write about something else. You can write about, I don't know, ponies, uh, sunshine, uh, the beach, things that have nothing to do with the, the sad things that are happening. And just take yourself out of it for a while. Um, and then, you know, tomorrow morning, today is Friday, but you know what I mean. The next time you go into work and have to deal with more news things and keep up with more trends and things like that, you're ready. You took your time away. You wrote in whatever way you wrote that helps you kind of deal. And now you're ready to come back and um, do it all over again. Because this doesn't stop. And it gets tiring, but you don't have to stop writing about these things or reporting on these things or being aware of these things. You can be aware and informed and inform other people uh, without just totally wearing yourself out and making yourself too sad. And yes, it's sad. Yes, the emotions are okay and necessary, especially if you're planning on writing about them in a way that's going to help other people uh, deal with these things and help solve these problems. But don't let it consume you. The most important thing is that you do need to take time to care for yourself. And if that means uh, stepping away and not having to always be on to deal with these things and to be aware of these things, um, you have to do what you have to do. So remember to uh, do your job <laughs> and be an informed citizen and yes you can help come up with these solutions and um, be an activist and whatever you want to do but also um, you don't have to be in it 24 7 in fact you probably shouldn't be that's not healthy and if there's anything we've learned as writers when tragic things happen is that being healthy enough to be helpful is, it matters. Don't forget that. Stay strong, um, do whatever you need to do to uh, decompress, but um, good luck. <laughs>